Banana Computers again. This is Neil. We're going to run a little test today and just have a look at two entry-level CAD systems. We've got a laptop to the left and we've got a desktop to the right. Around about the approximate same value, they're both entry-level CAD systems. We're going to put them through their paces, do a little performance test on the screens behind me and then we'll have a look at the results later. If you want to know what's inside these machines, just check out the data at the bottom of the screen. It'll be scrolling across any time now. And of course, don't forget to have a look at what we've got in stock at www.bananacomputers.com, www.bananacomputers.co.uk, and of course, check us out on eBay, again, Banana Computers. So here we go, doing performance testing. Trigger them simultaneously so you can see what happens.
And there we go, there's the two tests complete. Today we're using Passmart.com performance test software to test both of these systems. As you can see, both completed. Let's have a little closer look now and see how the results match up. And here we are reviewing the scores of the Precision T1700. It's a mini tower desktop computer. You've seen the specs inside across the screen. They're coming up now. If you have a look at those again, and as you can see, the rating is a 4312.3. So we'll get rid of that off the screen and then we'll have a little closer look. Okay, here we go reviewing the stats for the T1700. This is the pass mark rating, as you can see, very favourable against the systems that they've noted it against. And we go down to the CPU mark rating. And again, not bad performance in, indeed. We'll go down and have a look at the 2D graphics mark. The green on each of these is this system. The reds, of course, are comparable systems, so that you can get an idea. Here we are having a look at the 3D graphics. You can see that red line boss in the stat there, GTX 980, a fantastic card. One in this one, the NVIDIA K2200 is the green line below, still admirable performance. Then we go to the memory. And then the last stat to review is the disk mark score. As you see in this case, in this T1700, we've got a light on it 256 SSD as the drive, and so it's absolutely superb. And here we are with the Precision M2800 laptop. As you can see, the score on this one is 3004.6. Of course, check the specs across the bottom of your screen right now. And if you bear with me, we'll just remove this and then we can have a closer look. Here we are reviewing the scores for the Precision M2800 laptop. We start at the top with the pass mark rating. Again, green line is the relevant one in this case. That's the system in question that we've used today for this test. We've got the CPU mark score. And there's the 2D graphics score. As you see in this instance with the laptop, the HD 4600's kicked in as the graphics as opposed to the onboard graphics this system has. got the 3D graphics mark. Again using its HD 4600 programs deemed not powerful enough to need to kick in with the onboard adding graphics. And the memory. And then of course the disk performance. Again in this instance we're using a 256 SSD. This one's a Samsung. Thanks for joining us for today's video. Don't forget to check out what special offers we've got on and what stock we've got for you at the moment at www.bananacomputers.com and www.bananacomputers.co.uk. You can also find us on eBay as banana computers. Thanks for joining us today. Bye.